Howdy guys, I'm Bubble Fortress, and in today's episode of Kingdom Quest, I try to get a full set of netherite armor, and I make an awesome netherite forge. So you might be wondering, Bubble Fortress, why do you have name tags in your inventory? Well, last episode I asked for names on my skeleton horses, and one of you responded with Skeletor and Grayskull, so we are going to name them in this episode. But I have a couple of updates to get to before we actually get to the nether part of the episode. Uh, some of this, we, most of this we did on stream, I uh, did a couple of grinding off camera, but we made, we decked this out, we decorated it. Um, because it was empty because all the chests were uh, moved to the new storage building last episode. So this is going to be like a little forge area. So right now um, I'm enchanting the pants for the set of gold armor. And one of the goals that I have for this series is to get a fully enchanted, like with all of the good enchants, set of each armor. So leather, iron, gold, diamond, and netherite. So another thing that we did is we... Uh, completed the interior on the storage building and I moved everything in there. So the front first part of the room was already decorated. Oops, that's a barrel. It was already decorated. And this still looks good. But we went in here and made a little room and it's like a little office. So we have some crossbows and stuff, um, painting in an item frame, book in an item frame, and a little desk here with some pumpkin pie on it. So this is cool. Kinda looks like we're studying the Illagers, maybe? Um, and why they keep spawning? I don't know. Some Something cool like that. Oops, flip that up. So, uh, before we get on to the other updates, let's go ahead and name the Skeleton Horses. Okay, so the Skeleton Horses are in here. So let's go ahead and get our name tags out. And we use the special character, sp uh, plus R. Uh, to get the black lettering on here. So, gray skull. Looks cool. You could just see it on the name tag. Oof. But it's not italicized like um, other names are. So, it's just the regular pixelated uh, font. And Skeletor. They look awesome. Thank you again, Christy, for uh, naming the skeleton horses. And here... I just labeled a bunch of chests with item frames. Um, these are like going to be extra storage. These are all of my stones and stuff. You can see all the deep slate tough down there. Cobblestone and the extra stones in here. And then if we go back up here, let me show you this iron. It is, nope, it's all the way at the top. Yes, look at all that. So cool. So cool. So, um... I am going to go ahead and skip to the other part of the updates. And you might be wondering, Bubble Fortress, where are all of your lev levels? Well, that is because I made an enchantment set up at my mob farm. And uh, um, I know, I know, I'm rich. I've got enough diamonds to make an enchantment table and all of the books for the, uh, the bookshelves. But... I thought it'd just be easier there to enchant stuff so I could get levels um, because I realized that this Silk Touch Axe did not have Efficiency 5 or Unbreaking, so I had to get that on there. And also enchanted another tool that didn't have Efficiency 5 or Unbreaking. Um, and I got a bunch of books for new sets of armor, so hopefully uh, this will help with um, that whole armor goal. Also, in a uh, live stream, I try to stream every Thursdays now. Yes, I have a schedule. Um, but in the live stream, I asked y'all if uh, you would be fine with making a canal through here. And it'd have like a little bridge and stuff. We'd make like a little small ruined town or something like that. Uh, just through this um, stony part right here. Because it would be so much easier to just boat through the whole thing instead of having to stop and pick up my boat. And then go all the way across the island and then get to the ocean where my mob farm is 
but uh, I hope y'all are alright with that. That It is off the map. Off the map is right there where the palisade wall is over there. So, um, it would break that rule just a little bit, but we did break it for the mob farm anyway, so why not make a canal for it? Plus, this really isn't going to be something that I spend a whole episode on. It would just be something I work on a stream or uh, do off-camera and then feature in an episode. It would not have a whole episode to itself. So, for the nether episode, for netherite mining, we are going to need TNT and some fire protection post potions. Excuse me. So, we're going to need some redstone, which we've got here. I'll just take that. And we're going to need a ton of gunpowder, both for the potions and the TNT. So we're just going to take uh, 10 stacks. 10 stacks sounds good. And I uh, renovated this place a little bit. Not really renovated, but uh, did some things, made life a little bit easier. I've been combining a bunch of tools and bows. So we've got uh, full sets of stuff, except for this crossbow. I'm just leaving that in there. And then that second chest here. But here are all the potions, so I think six should be fine. Wait, that was five. Okay, six should be fine. And we'll go back to our potion brewing area um, to brew up these potions. But I made a little staircase right here because I kept having to go back to the ladder and stuff. But here's the enchantment table. I don't have anything in here except for some cobblestone and some lapis. And of course an ender chest. So I just wanted to update you on that. This thing is really cool. It's been really helpful too with uh, mending tools. So, uh, we've got everything we need. We'll go ahead and put that in our offhand. And we will go back home, brew up the potions, create the TNT, and then we'll be able to hop into the nether and get our netherite. Nether. Oh my goodness, that dude is in the water. Okay, let's check his straight. Good sir, do you have anything interesting? Oh, he's got moss and blue eyes. Okay. I don't have any emeralds, but you get to live. Okay. Oh, I'll meet you back at my house. Splash potions of fire resistance are done. Now we need the TNT. Sand for the TNT. Uh, hopefully we can make a ton. Let's see how many we can get. Oh, nice. 80. We'll take all of that. So, for the netherite, I want to get a stack of ancient debris. Hopefully we can get a stack. If we get more, that would be awesome. But I feel like a stack would be, would be good. Maybe we'll have some, um... Oh, jeez, that only gives us two stacks of TNT. Okay, we'll be okay. Maybe we'll, um get some extra or have some extra ingots left over. We'll just put that in there. Back at Netheria Ruins, and this place is looking pretty cool, especially with the ruined bridge. But let's jump into the nether. Okay, guys, we are at level 15 in the nether, and uh, I just set up a little base of operations here where I've got all my extra stuff in here. All the stuff I don't want to be burnt if I die. And I actually should have made a respawn beacon, but...
Let's go, guys. I finally found two uh, ancient debris. It's been like 20 minutes of mining, so it was better than uh, uh, the last time, I guess. But that's awesome. Yeet. Nice. Oh, lava. Cool. Alright, let's go. We can finally go. Uh, go home. As I get absolutely wrecked by piglins here. There you go. You, would you like some lava too? Here. There you go. Thank you for participating in the Hunger Games. You get- oh! Bruh- okay, there you go. <laughs> My fortune pickaxe is almost dead too. Which is crazy. But, we've got a stack in four ancient debris. That is so cool. Alright, let's go back home. Um, I need all the- or I'll carry all this stuff with me. And, I will meet you guys with all this sorted out and getting the materials to build an awesome forge. Oh, hi Enderman. Jeez, can I not switch? There we go. Are we getting pearls? Nothing. Alright, meet you guys there! Alright guys, we are done putting up all of the stuff. We have it all sorted out and amended all of my tools. And now we have all of the materials to start the epic forge. Now the forge itself is going to be right here. And I will have, um, I will connect these two planned out buildings. So this bigger part will be um, the shop where you can buy all of the finished materials or materials for your own home forge or whatever. And then over here will be some sort of work area, more like a shed than a actual shop. So I have a pretty awesome idea for the forge. And I'm probably not going to time lapse it, I'll just cut back to you. So, see you when the shop is finished. Alright guys, we are finally done with the build, and this is the final product. I'm really happy with this. I saw uh, this sort of forge somewhere on uh, Instagram or Pinterest, um, and I wanted to recreate it, but they had a, um, a covered forge. I just built a bridge in between these because I thought it would look cool, and it does. It's off-centered a little bit, but that's because the um, this uh, house is smaller. But this is the big forge. Now, this is my own design. I had to figure it out. Um, the idea came from It's Marlo. And if you throw the ancient debris in here, it'll get smelted. And eventually the netherite scraps will pop out of the lava and get right here and float up at the top. And that is how I will get my netherite. So it's pretty cool. I didn't know it takes away the lava. I might have to fix that, but it does look very cool. And I think it might be going into the hopper there a little bit. But uh, I'll figure that out later. This is very cool. You know what? Let me go get another bucket of lava just to fix that because it's kind of annoying me. But while that is smelting, we have our gold smelting in here. So all of that just finished. So we are just waiting on the netherite. Dude, look at it floating in the lava. That is so cool. That is screenshot worthy. So let me fix the lava there. Now it's screenshot worthy. That's cool. So we have a little forge area around here. Uh, this is like supposed to be a cauldron full of iron or a wheelbarrow for, full of iron. Um, all of the anvils and stuff. I don't really know how to explain it all. I was just showing uh, what I've built here. And then over here, we come into this building. This is the shop. This is the shop. So you can buy all of the stuff here. There'll be like a little attendance right here. 
um, and they'll help you with what you need. And then there's an upstairs area. And this is how we get into the second floor of the smaller house. And this is just more storage and stuff. And I put some stuff in item frames. I really like it. It's really simple, but uh, I like the way it turned out. Especially the outdoor forge. It looks very cool with the whole with all of the blackstone. Very heavy on the blackstone, <laughs> but it looks awesome. And hopefully we can get some more here. Don't think there's any right there. Don't think anything's going into the hopper. So we'll just wait here for the netherite scraps to finish and we'll craft our netherite ingots and we'll have netherite armor. So I did decide that uh, I will turn this armor into netherite and then in the future episode we will have a whole armor enchantment and display episode. So that'll be awesome. Watch for that episode. It'll probably come quick because I think I have a cool, a lot of cool ideas for it. And I don't know how this spider is here. I thought I spawn-proofed everything. M must not have spawn-proofed something on that house. It must spawn over there somewhere. But uh, this is what it looks like from over here. And it looks kind of wonky. The skyline is really cool. So I will, oh, I will come back to you with hopefully a stack in four of netherite scraps. Alright, so the netherite final or the netherite scraps are done. We've got all of the gold smelted up. So we just need to craft it. 17 netherite ingots. That is so cool. Alright, let's do our pickaxe first for sure. And then we should do well we're gonna do all of our tools and then our armor. And that's gonna be so cool. So let's do our pickaxe. Dude, this is so cool. Our sword, dude, it looks so cool. And our hoe. We should get the advancement. It'll probably uh, come later because uh, bedrock advancements are super slow. Let's do our armor. Let me fix the inventory real quick. Let's do the armor. Dude, this looks awesome. There's there's the advancement. All right, let's go get our stuff. The the other tools that we can upgrade. So that's another four. So we'll have four netherite ingots left. And that'll be perfect because in another episode we can make another full set of netherite armor. That way we can keep this one to wear. And we'll have that one for display. Dude, this is so cool. That's awesome. So we should definitely get some... Uh... Autumn frames and put them along the wall here for the uh, netherite ingots that we have left over. Dude! That's so cool! Alright, we've got the autumn frames. Let's do this. That looks awesome. Dude, I look awesome. Thank you again, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was really fun, and I really like how the build came out. It looks awesome. I can't wait till this city is built up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay bubbly. I'll see you next time.